Josh Alvarez and Japan fighter Jin Hirano started the show off for PXC 30 Rise for Japan. Alvarez making his weight at 135 pounds looked very impressive. Alvarez didn't waste any time taking the fight to the ground and working the ground in pound. Josh seemed stronger than his opponent at this weight and kept Hirano on his back and started to rain down with some punches. Alvarez took position and finished Jin Hirano off in the first round by referee stoppage. Korean top team fighter Duan Kim met up with Tiger Muay Thai fighter. Kim used his strength to pin Hicks up against the cage and get the takedown. Hicks wanted to keep the fight standing, but Kim had the better ground game. Duan Kim took Hicks down in every round, and his time expired in the last round. Kim tried to finish the fight, but ran out of time, settling for the unanimous decision win. Alex Castro and Tony Rages went the distance in their 135-pound matchup. Castro came out throwing leg kicks to keep the distance against his taller opponent. Rages managed to counter throwing a couple of stiff jabs as Castro came in. Alex took the first round with a takedown towards the end of the round, with things getting interesting as Rages reversed position at the sound of the bell. The second round looked like the first with both fighters exchanging from up top. Castro would steal the round with another takedown. In the last round, Alex looked to walk away with the fight, but Rages swept Castro and took his back and started to land some blows. Tony had Alex's back for most of the third round, but Alex hung in there and avoided the submission attempt and pulled off the win by split decision. Japan fighter Koshi Matsumoto used his wrestling to pick up the decision win against France fighter Sebastian Gardier. Matsumoto kept Gardier on his back for most of the fight, dodging several submission attempts put on by his opponent. Koshi shot in relentlessly applying the pressure and dominated the ground to earn the unanimous decision win. Thaddeus Malbro and Robert Wistick battled for three rounds, putting each other's wrestling and jiu-jitsu skills to the test. Both fighters looked to work the ground and catch someone slipping to work in the choke. The first round ended with Wistick in control, trying to land some shots. Malbro controlled most of the second round, keeping Rob on his back and getting in a few punches. Thaddeus came out swinging in the last round, looking for the big finish. Robert was able to keep his composure and work his way off his back. After a brief stoppage, Malbro went in for the shoot, and when the fight went back to the ground, Robert Wistick was able to reverse the action and catch Malbro with the anaconda choke with time winding down in the third round. Lim hyung Gu out of Korean top team proved to be one of the most dangerous strikers to step into the cage for PXC. The 170-pound fighter went to work on his Japan opponent, Takahiro Kawanaka. Gu started throwing from the sound of the bell and didn't stop until referee Tony D'Angelo called the fight after Kawanaka was unable to defend himself, awarding the win to Lim hyung Gu by TKO. Trevin Jones played it safe and added a win to his record against Saipan fighter Josh Duenas. Jones relied on his jiu-jitsu to finish Duenas off in the first round. After landing a couple of shots from up top, Jones took the fight to the ground, sunk in the hooks, and went after the rear naked choke. Trevin Jones was victorious via rear naked choke. Ronnie Borja and Jang Yong Kim blew the roof off the field house with their stand-up exchange. Kim, with superior ground, dominated the fight when the fight did go to the ground. The Korean top team fighter was just too strong for Borja, pinning him on the ground and landing some staples and punches. When the fight did stay standing, Borja had a puncher's chance, landing a flurry of punches that buckled Kim, putting him down to one knee. Ronnie had the crowd going with some high kicks and punches that were inches away from ending the fight. In the end, Kim's wrestling and power were too much for Ronnie, and after three tough rounds, Kim walked away with the unanimous decision win.